We're going to start with the markets. The markets giving up most of their early session gains. The Dow was up uh, about 182 points. Now just barely above the flat line. And joining us for more is Kenny Polcari of O'Neill Securities and our own Bob Pisani. Uh, good morning to both of you guys. Kenny, I want to start with you. What's, what's going on here? The, the semis were up uh, pretty strong at first. I, I don't know why the semis would be higher. As we've <laughs> I just think it was a broad market rally, right? I mean, you start this morning, Europe was up. There was talk about, you know, the concessions with Trump and all that kind of created some excitement, especially after what happened on Tuesday, which was a half a day. The market was up and then they and then they hit it at the end of the day. And so, listen, it's a holiday shortened week. The volumes are really low. It's really a traders trading with trader market. There's not a lot of institutional participation right now. The big institutions have kind of lined the book up and down in case there's a major move. But in here, it's just as back and forth trading. So uh, there's no real rhyme or reason to it other than the headlines, right? So whether it's European tariff or whether it's China tariffs, it's going to be back and forth between the two headlines until really until next week when you have all the participants coming back. Bob, the, the VIX was right at the flat line. Yeah, the, the, what the market is reflecting is concerns that earnings are going to slow on global growth slowdown trade, tariff, whatever. Just look at the trading pattern in the last couple of weeks. Where's your market leadership? Utilities and telecom, okay? That's not what you want to see. What, ma what matters, financials and technology have been the market laggards. They have been down two or three percent in the last couple of weeks. That's a clear sign that there's concerns about global growth going. Look at, the market's very sensitive to economic numbers. Look at that ADP report this morning. It was below expectations. Did you see the 10-year yield? It went straight down. And we should be getting a rally in banks now. Instead, we had a rally for three minutes at the open, and they sold banks right into it. And many of the big regional banks are essentially flat this morning. They've been dramatically oversold in the last few weeks. We should be getting some kind of bounce at this point, and we're not getting it. And I think this is the global growth concerns. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.